Good morning, everybody from Pembina, North Dakota. Manitoba, Canada is a mile that way. We're headed that way. Just checking my tires real quick here. Making sure all blue and my trailer's ready to go. We're gonna go bring these into Winnipeg. And we'll see what we got next after that. I'm gonna go inside, grab a coffee and get on the road. checking all the tires first thing every morning. But I've had so many flats over the past year and I'm just hoping and hoping that I'm not going to have another one for a long time. Nice. Today's a good day. Tonight. Some days it works, some days it doesn't.
another load successfully delivered. Another happy customer. So we're gonna go do it again. I'm in Prada, Manitoba, which is on the way to Kenora, if you remember. Last time we were here, we slept right over there by that sign. You remember that? I parked crooked the first time. I had to go fix myself so that I could sleep, make sure I was straight. I still wasn't completely straight. Bothers me to this day. But old Blue's been doing a good job. The trailer's been doing a good job. The trailer's still a little bit dirty, or a lot dirty. Didn't have time to wash it on the way home. It's rush, 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 and tomorrow's gonna be a big rush as well. So I'm headed to Kenora tonight because I'm loading first thing tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be at the gate at 6.30. The gate is supposed to open at seven, but I hear rumors that they've been opening it up at 6.30 lately, because every time I show up at seven, there's like three trucks in front of me already. So this time I'm gonna show up early too. I wanna be first. We'll see if we can do it. So I'm gonna get loaded first thing. Hopefully be out of there by like 8.30. Then I'm going to rush down to Brainerd again. Get it unloaded. Same day. And then we're going to head on back to Shakopee for another load of shingles. Same thing as we did just before this. Just another loop. So I'm filming this. What is today? Wednesday? Middle of the week. Yeah, that's right. Wednesday. So tomorrow's Thursday. That means I'll be delivering Thursday. Get down to Shakopee Thursday night. Load Friday morning. And I'd be back home Friday night. Friday night or Saturday morning. No, 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 no. If I get loaded first thing Friday morning, I'll be back Friday night. But I'll probably only deliver uh, the shingles then on Monday. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll make plans as plans present themselves. I keep biting my lip. Is this swollen? Oh, man. It's been two days already. Keep biting it. You just hate that. Stopped here and went inside. Esso right here and got myself a wonderful three-piece Chester's chicken meal. I know I spent some money. I don't like spending too much money while I'm on the road, but at least once a week I like to treat myself to a good full solid meal. So I had three pieces of chicken, some coleslaw, some potato wedges. And a coke. Got myself a cookie for dessert. I know. I'm really bad. Oh, I can't wait to eat that. I'm so bad. I know. I know. I'm trying to eat less, but I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Trying to make sure I don't get too far out of control. Like, I'm doing fine now. I'm comfortable in my body. I'm not... I I'd like to lose a little bit of weight. Especially for when Theo starts running around. Like I gotta be able to run after that kid. I gotta be able to throw a ball around with him when he gets older and play some baseball or hockey or whatever he wants to play. I'm hoping he's gonna be into hockey. I mean, I was as a kid. So I'd love to, uh, like in our new yard, <clears throat> I'd love to one day make like an ice rink back there in the wintertime. So he can skate around the backyard. I've always wanted that when I was a kid. So maybe we can make it happen. I don't know. You got to be careful though, because sometimes when you make an ice rink in your backyard, the next summer your grass won't grow and your grass is dead. There are ways to prevent that and make sure that that doesn't happen. I have to figure it out. Do some research. Oh, we'll see. And plus you also have to have some protections in place, right? Because if we're shooting pucks around the backyard, we've got to make sure the pucks aren't going to end up going through one of our windows. You know me, it'd probably be me that did it. <laughs> and I can't blame Theo. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see. If not, I'm pretty sure... You know, if there's an outdoor skating rink in Steinbach, we could just go skate there too. It's not too far away from us. We can just go skate there. But then you got to share the rink with people, you know? And it's no fun. You get there, you're all excited to play some hockey, and someone's already there. You're like, uh. Or if you get a bunch of friends together, you go start a, a, a game of hockey... Like some shinny, right? Just a just a wreck, just a game. And then suddenly, like a whole bunch of people just show up. And you know, if I would show up, I see someone's already using the rink, I'd be like, oh shoot. And I'd go back home. I'd let them have the rink and go skate there another day or when they're done. A lot of people don't care. They'll just jump, put their skates on and jump on the ice anyways and start skating around through your game and get in the way. And you can't play hockey, like a fast-paced game of like intense hockey 
with kids skating around through you and families skating through you and whatever, doing their own thing. And it just doesn't work. People start getting hit in the head with pucks and, you know, people start getting angry and eh, nobody goes home happy. Uh, we'll figure that out as time goes. So it would be nice to have a, like a little skinner in the back. Mm -hmm. Let's get moved in first and then we'll think about these things later. It's not like this winter we're going to have a skating rink. No. First we got to get settled into the house. And you don't get settled in right away. It sort of takes like a full year or two to get settled in. Like at the house we're at now, we've been there three years. I would say we're finally just settled in. We got the house organized. We got the bedrooms painted inside. We just got settled in. We got all the appliances changed. We got the house just the way we want it. Built a new deck out in front of the house. And we're going to sell it. <laughs> Because I wasn't building it up and making it nicer for, for us. I was building it up and making it nicer so that I could sell it for money. And that's exactly what we did. So now somebody else can enjoy all the hard work I put into that house. That's fine. I got paid for it. So we'll take that and then we're going to put that same hard work and effort into improving this new house. There's not many improvements that need to be made, to be honest. You'll see. It's actually in pretty good shape already. But, uh, eh. As time goes on, as years go on, we'll eventually get settled in and then Theo will grow a little older and I'll see if I can create some kind of skating rink or something in the back without destroying my yard. Anyway, break's over. Gotta head to Kenora, we're gonna sleep there. I think I'm gonna go to that co-op that nobody knows about yet. Sleep there. Don't wanna waste too much time. I wanna relax at the end of my day yet catch up on what's going on around the world. Lots to catch up on, lots going on again. None of it's good. I like to stay on top of what's going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Turn left. Absolutely, great idea. Kenora's that way thinking of turning that way anyway. Good suggestion, Karen. Good call. right here in front of me all these spots guess where these people decide to park wait for it 
Wait for it. Right there. In the truck parking. Who knows why? I guess these long 75 foot parking spaces didn't give it away. Wasn't quite obvious enough that uh, those spots are for bigger vehicles, but okay. Good thing there's lots of spots. That's some construction going on over there. The whole other side of the lot there is blocked off. There we go. There's only four spots here, so not like I had to fight for a spot or anything. They've still decided to not work today. We got this guy parked in the back over here. I don't know why. No plates. Which is interesting. right in the light. Got my whole truck lit up, front and back. It's the best we can do. I find it very strange and suspicious that a vehicle would be parked there with no license plates. But seeing as it's in the back corner, I'm thinking it must have been, maybe it's the owners here. They just wanted like an old car parked in the back. I don't know. Plenty of other spots around here where it could be parked, you know? But I'm always, I like to know my surroundings completely when I go to bed. I like to know what's going on and why. Sometimes we just don't have answers, I guess. And that's okay. So we didn't really go that far today. I started just south of the border in Pembina, North Dakota. Uh, rushed up to Winnipeg to get unloaded this afternoon. And then I meandered my way over here to Kenora because we're gonna get loaded first thing tomorrow morning. And I mean first thing tomorrow morning. We are gonna be on the ball. I wanna be there first. I always say that, but I'm, I never actually get there first. I don't know how people are so quick. They always set the bar so high, you know? So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna wind up and we're gonna see how high we can jump and see if we can beat that bar and get there first before all these other keeners. If we can get unloaded tomorrow afternoon, that will be perfect. Should have no problem. It's eight o'clock now. They don't open until seven, that's 11 hours. <coughs> Plenty of time. So, thanks for hanging out with me today. Short day. How, how far did we go? 400 kilometers, 400 something? 400, 424 kilometers. Not very far at all. Tomorrow will be a long day. Uh, we've got to get all the way down to Shakopee, uh, southeast Minneapolis, while unloading along the way. Loading and unloading along the way. It's going to be busy, so I hope you tune in to hang out. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss it. If you haven't already and you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. We make new videos every day of my life on the road. I've been doing this for about 12 years. You can go back through my playlists on my channel, go click my username below the below the video here, go to my channel, go to the playlists. You can see all of my videos by year and you can start right from the beginning or skip whatever years you want to, whatever years are your favorite. Try to organize them the best I can. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of content out there. I have over 3,000 videos already, over 2,900 in this series already. Plus I had a bunch of videos I made before this yet and other ones that aren't part of this vlog series. I've been doing this a long time. Time just keeps flying. If you think about it, I've been doing this for 12 years. So when I made my first video and put it on YouTube, people who are graduating this year of high school in grade 12, they were in kindergarten when I made my first video when I started this channel. So if you started watching me when you were in kindergarten, you're now graduating grade 12. 
Wow. I've been with you through your whole entire education life so far. Believe me, once you're out of school, there's a whole life ahead of you yet. So pay attention in school. I'm going to be one of those annoying adults talking to you right now. Pay attention in school, okay? Because it's just a short part of your life. I know it's not fun. School sucks. I never liked school either. I didn't. I hated the homework, all the studying, the tests, the exams. It's not fun. But believe me, you need it. And there's way more life after school that you get to enjoy than now in school. That's just the first little part of your life. Get that over with, get the schooling, and get the education you want, and you have the rest of your life to forget about school. <laughs> Unless you want to keep learning. Well, if you're one of those people, hats off to you. I'm not. I like driving trucks, which is a learning curve every day as well. I'm always learning new things every day. So it's not like, uh, it's not like truckers are dumb, though some definitely are. I try not to be one of them. There are some people who got their license in a cereal box. You really got a question. How did they get it? But you know, that's in every profession, I guess, but I try to be the best at what I do. I'm not claiming to be the best, but I try to be the best. And that's all we can do, right? Figure out what you love to do and go after it. I love to drive trucks. It's not a big glamorous career. Lots of people look down on it. I don't care. Pfft. Maybe I look down on their career. Oh, what do you... It doesn't matter what people think of you. Do what, do what makes you happy. Because if you're going to spend your whole life doing a career that you don't like, you're going to be miserable your entire life. And you only get one shot at this life. You only get one. So find out what really makes you happy now and pursue a career in that. And maybe you'll be an astronaut and you'll be walking on Mars or something. Maybe you'll be a truck driver like me and you'll own your own truck. Maybe you'll own a fleet of a hundred trucks. Maybe you'll be super successful and start a new mega carrier and you'll be one of those good, honest mega carriers that everybody wants to work for, that treats everybody fairly. Maybe you'll be a lawyer and uh, you'll be a prosecutor and you'll prosecute criminals and make and take bad people off the streets. Maybe you'll be a defense lawyer and defend those bad people. I don't know how those people live with themselves. <laughs> I don't. I couldn't do it. I could not defend someone I know is guilty or that I know like 99% sure is guilty. I just could not defend them. But that is every, that's some people's jobs. Anyway, maybe you'll be a police person. Police person. Maybe you'll be a policeman. Let's say it right. Maybe you'll be, maybe you'll be a fireman. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Don't worry about all that while you're in school. Just focus on school. Okay? It's just a short part of your life. Just get it over with and do well. Do well. Try to be the best in your class because you only get to do it once. And after that, all that's gone. All your friends go off to do their own thing. And that whole experience is over and the real world hits you. School isn't the real world. And the real world starts after. You want to be ready. So just get have fun. Get Get through school. Enough of that babbling. Trying to be a good example here. Did it work? We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Be safe out there. Keep your head up. Keep your stick on the ice. And drive safe. Mm -hmm.